Tina Koto Katura. Um, this is my colleague Robin Nuttall, who is our planning director. And thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, I know that um, Council has received many submissions from UC academics and our student association, and I'm absolutely delighted about that. I'm here to speak on behalf of the institution or what we may call a corporate submission. And my starting point is to um, make a few points about how the university serves as an anchor institution in the city of Christchurch. Um, the term anchor institution is quite well used internationally, but it refers to universities or public institutions that are considered place-based. Uh, in other words, their mission is tied to a place. And when I joined the University of Canterbury at the beginning of 2019, uh, I was fully cognizant of that, that our very history is tied to the founding vision of this city. So when we planned our 10-year strategy from 2020 to 2030, we took that as our starting point, the contribution we make as an anchor institution here in the city. And I refer to anchor in four different ways. The first is the attraction of talent to the city. And this year, for example, our domestic numbers have exceeded all our expectations, so we have more students than ever in the history of the institution. We attract talent, and then we develop skills. And many of our graduates uh, would choose to stay in the city uh, if there are opportunities. The second way is in our knowledge dissemination and knowledge production mission. Uh, many people would just call it quite simply research and development. The next way is, an, or the third way, is in serving as a major economic contributor uh, in various ways. And in our strategy, we're quite intentional. We've set a target as to what percentage of our services and goods will be procured locally. And then finally, uh, the term global has been coined from other parts of the world. It's how universities are both local but also global at the same time because we attract uh, skills and uh, knowledge resources from all over the world. Given the enthusiasm from our academics, uh, I know that you've received uh, more than 10 submissions and we encourage that. I think we have an opportunity to think more intentionally about the relationship between the university and the city. Uh, we have expertise and uh, across all the disciplines and particularly expertise that would enable us to assist in uh, finding solutions to some of the challenges uh, and priorities that the city wishes to address. What do I mean by intentional and purposeful? Well, rather than leaving it to individual academics, uh, we could coordinate this, and we've begun to talk about a knowledge commons that many councillors might be aware of as a way of coordinating our expertise. Uh, and in the knowledge commons, working with a number, including the council of, of public institutions, to develop an information and set of databases. Now, information and data is important, but it doesn't lead to knowledge unless one is... Uh, purposeful about the questions and the priorities we set. We have an opportunity to uh, develop what some uh, cities around the world would call a think tank capacity. Uh, and this could include some other of our tertiary institutions. And to assist in producing the knowledge and the evidence basis that <coughs> council may wish to use in making its decisions. And in, in choosing options. So through the Knowledge Commons, I see us as creating an opportunity for us to have a coordinated set of priorities and a work program to bring our expertise to the table in a coordinated way. And the university itself has set aside a small budget to enable this. Because the one lesson that uh, has been learned from across cities that have tried to do this is that unless there is 
some stable and recurring resource available, it reverts or it falls back into the ad hoc, individually led uh, engagement with the city council. Um, so in essence, that's my submission on behalf of the institution. And to say that within our academy, this idea has been met with a great deal of enthusiasm uh, and our academics and the students are ready to make a contribution. And from a corporate point of view, we, and on behalf of our university council, see ourselves as an anchor institution that's a core part of shaping the future of the city. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. I mean, that's, that's taken us to the end of the five minutes, which makes these um, sort of very challenging submission, um, submissions to, to, um, to uh, follow up from. So, but I am going to suggest that given the nature of the submission that we should actually have a, we should continue the conversation um, well and truly beyond the LTP process because it's not just one that's for the LTP process, it's uh, how we can jointly um, meet our shared aspirations for the future of the city. So it's an extremely welcome submission and um, thank you very much for coming to present it in person. Sure. Thank you.